Hello YouTube, it's PZZS in here. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the wick in a Zippo. Um, the wick is what the fire actually catches on. Um, it's what the lighter fluid will soak into and um, saturate. And uh, when you spark the wheel, that is what ignites. That is what um, that is what ignites. The uh, the wick does. Well, I mean, you know, the fluid does, but then the the wick ignites too. So anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace this. Um, you know, should you need to replace it, um, it's actually fairly easy to do. But to be honest with you, it does look a little intimidating. Um, this is actually my first time, and I'm not actually going to be replacing the wick. I'm just going to be taking it out and putting it back in uh, because I don't need to. But the reason why I'm doing this video now is because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do my next Zippo video. I don't know when that's going to come. Um, we'll see, though. So, I don't know. Uh, I, the next one I plan to make is a, um, a filling video, but we'll see. I, I hope to uh, maybe get some more, you know, about new Zippos in soon. So, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So, you will actually need a few tools to uh, actually do this. Um, one of the things you're going to need, you're also going to need your Zippo. That's just obvious. Um, you are going to need the new wick, which I actually don't have. Um, I'll try and show you guys in another video what a new wick package looks like. Um, yeah, I'll try and do that. I don't have one with me at the moment. They are very cheap. I don't remember offhand how much they are. I do believe, though, they are uh, either a little over or a little under, maybe a dollar or two. Um, I can't remember, but anyway, I'll, I'll show you guys what a wick looks like, maybe in a future Zippo video. Um, so you will obviously need a new wick. Um, <clears throat> you're going to need uh, a small set of pliers. Now, it can be needle-nose pliers, but I'm actually going to be trying out these Swiss Tech pliers. Um, so that will be pretty cool. Uh, we're, you're also going to need... I'm going to be using a coin. This is optional, though, but um, I'm going to use this to get the flint tube out, and or the flint out. And, um, well, at least a flint uh, screw off. And you're going to want something long and uh, slender, like this Allen wrench here. Okay, so those are all the materials you're going to need. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so let me briefly explain to you guys what a wick is. If you're one of my, if you're either new to Zippos or just getting into Zippos but don't actually own Zippos, um, you know, I'm just going to show you guys what that is. So... This is the wick right here. This little piece inside of uh, inside of this big thing here, which is actually called the chimney. Um, that's what the wick looks like. As you like. can see, basically what it is, it's just a little bit of a string with uh, that's been reinforced a little bit with metal wire, so that way it's uh, sturdy and will hold, stay upright. Um, that's your wick, all right. And we're going to be um, getting in there to replace it. And that is what, again, you know, that's what the lighter fluid will saturate and ignite when you spark the spark wheel. Um, <clears throat> so, um, signs of needing to replace it are, um, you know, you're sparking the, you fill the Zippo, you know the Zippo's filled, um, you spark the spark wheel like this, and it's just having a hard time igniting. It just, you know, sometimes it lights, sometimes it just doesn't light, maybe it lights and then goes out. Um, I don't know, I've honestly, I've never actually filled a Zippo, I've never actually I don't believe I've ever seen a lit Zippo in real life, so I have no idea. Um, but I, ha I assume that, you know, it's just going to give you some problems. Uh, you know you have a flint in there, you know it's sparking, you know you have fluid in there, but you're just not able to light it easily. Um, that's what the uh, symptoms are. Now, before I actually show you guys how to actually replace the wick entirely, I want to show you a little tip that uh, not all people know. Um, the wick is actually fairly long, all right? So you can actually, what Zippo wants you to do if you, your wick starts, you know, black, getting black and hard to light, uh, you can actually, um, you can actually avoid having to uh, replace the wick by just, well, doing what I'm about to show you. So you will just need a little pair of pliers here. Uh, now I'm just going to be using these Swiss Tech pliers. All right, they're nice and small. So what you'd want to do is uh, come in here, just grab the the wick here. All right, just grab it. Get a good grip on it. Just pull it out a little bit. Eh, it's just like so. Just pull out some of that old wick. All right, and uh, get some nice new wick in there. Okay, dude, <laughs> I haven't even used the wick, and look at how frayed that is already. 
Uh, and then you just snip it off with some scissors so it's even with the top of the chimney. And uh, there you go, you have a new wick. Um, or, you know, a new wick to work with. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just a little tip for you guys because not everybody knows that. So, yeah, but I am going to show you guys, you know, once you do uh, eventually run out of wick from doing this, uh, you then you'd obviously want to replace it. And, uh, like I said, or at least like I think I said, it does look a little intimidating, but to be honest with you, it's actually pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> also, I would like for you to bear in mind, this is my first time actually doing this, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but like I say, it, it's, it's, it's not too hard to do. Uh, in fact, it's fairly simple. So, one of the, what the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the insert, so pull it out. <clears throat> Alright, and go ahead and set your case off to the side. Now, you can use the case for this next step, uh, but... I don't want to use the case to, uh, you know, some people suggest that you use the case to get this uh, screw out. Well, I'm actually not sure I like that idea anymore, and I'm actually going to show you guys my black Zippo here. That should explain it. <laughs> yeah, it started pulling up, it started removing some of that paint, and I don't think I like that that much. So, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm going to be using a coin to uh, prevent from scratching up this finish here. As you can see, it's, it's still nice and new. So, let's just be a little bit. Yeah, just use a coin. A penny works fine. A quarter is a perfect fit, though. Um, you can use a quarter if you want to. I've just got a penny handy, though, so. Um, actually, I found a penny once that was uh, chipped, like part of it was flattened. That's like an awesome screwdriver, so maybe if you want to make like a little screwdriver for your Zippo, take a penny, sand it so that we got a little flat edge there, and it's a very good uh, screwdriver. But I've just got a standard penny handy right now, so we'll work with what we got to work with. There you go. Just go ahead and take this off. Take, take the screw out. And let's go ahead and take the dump the flint out, too. So there's the flint. I will set it in that little channel so it hopefully doesn't roll away. And here's the flint tube. Alright, now the next step we want to do is we want to actually get this felt pad out. Now, you can use your flat, your pointy object for this, or your slender object for this, but uh, a little tip that I myself found out, take your flint spring here, take this little piece here, put it right in this little hole, and just kind of pull like this. Alright, and what is, you see what it's doing there, it kind of lifts up the, uh, the felt pad for you. And just go ahead and fully remove it. And what you'll see in here is some cotton balls. All right, these are uh, what your uh, fluid will actually saturate. And, uh, you know, when you fill it, these are what gets saturated. So that's kind of cool. All right, so you've got your felt pad here. So just set that off to the side. All right, now comes uh, the pliers. Uh, you could also maybe use tweezers if you wanted to, but I'm just going to use these pliers here. You want to take out these right here. Um, we've got five rayon balls. You really, these are called rayon balls, uh, by the way. Basically, um, it's like cotton. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna get in here with these, and I'm gonna pull these things out if I can. Oh, there's one. All right. So I'm just set that right there. Okay. Uh, I would suggest. I don't know. Just kind of, just kind of me. I would suggest waiting for your fluid to dry up. Uh, letting your fluid dry out before actually. Um, doing this, you know, this might be a good idea. <laughs> um, so there's two. There Alright. So there's third one. Right there. Uh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> this one has several in there. Um, I thought there were only four that we need to get up, but I guess Zippo might have put extras in here for some reason. I don't know. Um, Alright then. Well, Ah, there we go. That's interesting. This one has six in there. Anybody ever seen that? I thought they only had like four or five. I thought I, I, thought I only need to get out four of them, but okay. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and actually take this wick out. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and assume this is our new wick. We're just going to set that aside, though. You want to be able to see that little hole right there. You see that little hole? That's good. Alright, so, you've got your Zippo gutted, literally. You just gutted your Zippo. Um, <laughs> excuse me. So, now it's time to actually put the, uh, the wick in to the Zippo. Um, so, here is, uh, the wick. We're just going to assume this is a new wick. Uh, so, that's that. 
what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to take a little bit of this off, just so that it's a little easier to do this. So, uh, let me go get something to snip it with, and I'll be right, right back. Okay, I just uh, snipped it with some scissors. Uh, it snipped very easily, so actually a lot easier than I thought it would, because there's metal in there. All right, now, actually installing the wake. So, first things first, you want to take your insert. See that little hole? You. This is the trickiest part of this little process here. You want to uh, line this. Sorry, you want it, you want to line it up here with the hole. So you want to get it through that hole, just like that. All right. So you've got it like this. If you look in there, there's a little bit of it sticking out. So Let's see here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of push this a little bit through manually. There it is. You see how it's really sticking through there now? Uh, actually, that time is just going right on in there on its own. If it doesn't want to do that, just use your uh, your pliers. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's that. You want to kind of get it even with that chimney in there. Okay. Now to uh, reinsert the rayon balls, what you want to do is you want to kind of bring your wick over to one side, alright, and take a rayon ball, let's take this one, and uh, you want to kind of put Shoot. it in there. through there, and you can take pliers and kind of push this down. Now what you want to do with the wick, you want to fold it over again. So you want to fold it over to the other, to another, uh, to the uh, take other side. Take another rayon ball and shove that. Uh, in there. <coughs> All right, and see. I'm gonna fold this over again, just a little tiny bit. And the reason why we're folding it over is so that way, um, well, a, so that way it can hold in a bit more, and so that way, b, when you fill the zippo, it'll soak up uh, a lot better and a lot easier. Uh, let's take this little guy here and uh, put that in. All right. And now the wick is completely covered up in um, cotton right, balls. Then just put the rest in. Let me just test out this felt pad, see if it'll go in there all the way. If it won't go in there all the way, um, hmm, actually that works. Yeah, so um, after you get your rayon balls in there, <laughs> go ahead and put your felt pad in there and uh, kind of push it into there. Right, let's go ahead and put our flint back in to the Zippo. So I want to put it in there so the shiny side is facing down because that's the side you've been striking on so I don't really think it matters but I will just do it to play safe. Uh, not play it safe but just so we're you know good. Alright and then take your obviously screw this back in And function test. Things good. The wick is poking out a little bit, so you might, if it is poking out a little bit, uh, when you are initially putting the wick in, you want to make sure you get it even with everything. So uh, that. Well, let's go ahead and put it in the case and see if it causes any problems. No, it doesn't. Uh, but I might cut it. I might cut it down so it's a, lot, a little more even. Uh, and there you go. That is how you replace a wick. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is how you replace the wick in a Zippo. Very easy and simple to do. Um, thanks for watching this video. It is a little bit intimidating. Actually, it is indeed a little intimidating. You might get little bits of fluff all over your, your surface area, so just another little heads up there. Um, it is look, does look a little intimidating, but it's actually very simple. Um, <laughs> I don't know why my little blue one here came with uh, so many rayon balls, but it, it did. Um, uh, but anyway, that's, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, hopefully you benefited from it, and I'll see you in my next one. So... That being said, adios.